Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amir Rali. Uh, I'm an education agent based in UK. In the very interesting topic, I'm going to talk about this video. I'm going to talk about this video. A lot of dentists uh, keep on calling me and messaging me, like asking questions like how to uh, become a dentist in the UK, how to work as a dentist in the UK, etc. So today we have uh, Ishara Ruzwana, who is a dentist who is working in the UK as a dentist. നമുക്ക് എല്ലാ ക്വയറീസും എല്ലാ ഡൗട്ട്സും നമുക്ക് ഇന്ന് ക്ലിയർ ചെയ്യാം സോ വെൽക്കം ടു മൈ ചാനൽ ഐം വെരി ഹാപ്പി ദാറ്റ് യു ആക്സെപ്റ്റ് മൈ ഇൻവിറ്റേഷൻ ടു ഡു എ വീഡിയോ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ഓൾ കെൻ യു ജസ്റ്റ് ഇൻട്രൊഡ്യൂസ് അബൌട്ട് യുവർ സെൽഫ് യെസ് ഹായ് എവറിബഡി ഐം നോൺ ആസ് റിസ് ഇൻ ദ ഡെറ്റൽ സർക്കിൾസ് എന്നെ ഇതേപോലെ നാട്ടിൽ നിന്ന് എല്ലാവരും ചോദിക്കാറുണ്ട് എങ്ങനെയാണ് യു കെല് വരാ എന്ത് കോഴ്സാ ചെയ്യാ സോ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ഫോർ ഹോപ്പ് ഫുൾ ഹെൽപ്പ് ഫോർ എവറിബഡി ഐ മൂവ് ടു യു കെ I finished my dentistry degree BDS from Yerapoya Dental College in Mangalore. We moved to the UK in 2005, completed my Andhata exam was called as IQE, it was called as ORE. Uh, I got an exam, I worked in many practices, NHS and private, I had to work in the general practice, I was in 2014, I joined for my master's program, entered in prosthodontics, King's College in 2019, I completed it. So now uh, I work in our practice in Kings Lynn Norfolk with my husband and I do only my speciality. So that is my Oh great, brief. wonderful, great profile. Uh, thank you very much for that uh, brief introduction. Thank you. Uh, the second uh, most frequently asked question is uh, how to become a dentist in UK? Yeah. So especially for our people like Kerala, uh, especially in Bilbao, calls and uh, messages. Sure. So our people are going to, can you just explain a little bit how to, on the top, on the question, how to become a dentist in the UK? Okay. Uh, so uh, actually, Jan, I'll, I'll split that question into two parts. Okay. One is as how to work as a dentist in the UK. Now, we have an opportunity to come to the dentist, uh, the dentistry degree in art in the Cheda work here. to work here either as a dental hygienist or therapist that is an allied uh, dental professional mm-hmm. so first i'll tell you dentistry cheyanaite rendu routes undu one is an ore nor an exam aanu ivada gdc register cheyan allengil royal college nadathana exam undu lds ee rendu exam un two part exam aanu first one is uh, most questions igana nammala theory exam pole and second one is an oski structure exam aanu uh, the exams oru oru difficult exams are but impossible all obviously there are so many dentists work in the uk so i can chey the edukan pattum padich edukan pattum i know a technique akund that's it the second route i was talking to you about is to work as a dental therapist um adine all you or hygienist you can uh, have to just put across a lot of paperwork to show your competence uh, your experience your knowledge in these fields so um and then your curriculum pinna english proficiency uh pinna good uh, character certificate and there are a few paperwork und sondai cheyna aalkaru enikku ariyam pache agents ne use cheyna aalkaru ariyam agents use cheyadalle obviously if you are not here paperwork is quite uh, tedious i think oru 4 to 6 months edukum ee apply gdc le apply cheyane kittane i think about 500 pounds or, don't quote me on this pache angane endo aanu for uh, getting registered and agents fees are different i can put some agents that i know people have used uh, in the link in the description below and you are are you so you have to do your own uh, due diligence and see who works for you and you know and the cost works for you but those are the two op- opportunities that you can come to the uk for Oh thank you very much I think that's uh, really helpful for all our uh, uh, viewers in our in Kerala especially okay. uh, another important question uh, I'm getting uh, uh, frequently asked is what are the masters program that student can do especially a bds graduate from india what are the masters uh, program options in uk they can uh, come here and do the course and work as a dentist are there any options like that yes so again um, it's a it's again something i answer fairly frequently it depends on what you want from the masters obviously so there is no course that you can do and you can come and work in the uk because you've done the course i'm going to tell you bakshe and then i get two primary reasons one is obviously you love that subject and you really want to you know get a masters degree and do well in that particular field or mm-hmm. passion and all allengil or visa purposes randinum the kind of courses you want to do is very different right. uh, passion anengil you know obviously it's like asking me to st- give you aara kalyanam kaikanam are kalyanam kaikanam is i don't know you appa adinu parayalla you have to do it appa i've got a website called as dentist i have uh, all the courses that are there clinical non clinical all are registered on but if you want it for visa purposes because uk like where the biggest hurdle mm. would be visa 
um, one is either you get married to a person who can get uh, you know a job in one of the uh, you know uh, shortages like doctors professions and that is one option dentist said normally you either need to be on a spouse visa uh, you need to get a you know a, a regular course and that might be I think better than me the, all the courses available and you know the different costs where you want to live if you've got relatives there's so many reasons and I think uh, Amir would probably be the best person for you to contact and you should contact him as uh, he is really well connected and we know a lot of people who have come through uh, Eddiecraft uh, sure, through sure. to UK isn't it? Thank you thank you very much for that um, the, the third important question, a frequently asked question is, what is the uh, main difference working in UK and working in India? Um, uh, actually, um, dentistry per se is not a difference. We paperwork, notes recording, and then staff item because all of us are professional nursing staff item, reception staff item, we have soft skills patients we have to look at the art of the art but we have to look at the art of the art but we have to look at the art of the art but we have to look at the art of the art most difference dentistry wise Quality wise, okay, I would say it's fairly yeah. similar. So I'm also getting three questions like, is it easy to come as a hygienist in UK? Is that true? Yeah, so that is what, uh, the option. Yeah. One yeah. is as a dentist, you are exams, yeah. so exams super and do let not eat till a path in the backlog of kinder. If a little hygienist process, as you can register, I would not in the chair, a little bit of under the chair, not in the chair, I'll get them better so that you know, cost a cup of the culture. Uh, visa, um, the alum, visa part the so there are license, or pass alum, visa yeah. they, need, they, they need a sponsor. Exactly. Right. Either for dentist hygiene style, right. dentist style, all the visa are issue. Right. 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 most people come here, uh, course, one that type post study work visa called order, move the network, network, now, we have an employer's visa, an employer's sponsor visa, we can sponsor somebody. But if you have a practice, so you will probably be looking at bigger practices, corporates, etc. So it's, it's like, uh, it's not easy, but it's not impossible. Ever. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Really right. it, absolutely. Yeah. In, it's, it's what you wish to do. If you want to come here and you want to make a life here, you will do it no matter what and that's the truth of it. That's great, that's great. So, um, another question. Okay, imagine I don't even know exams at the past I, they go to work. So, do you know what is the basic salary that is offered for a dentist who, who already passed these exams and who are here, who got a sponsor? And um, what do you think about their career growth will be? You know, so brief about, you know, after passing the exam. Yeah. Um, after the passing the exam, we are equivalent to uh, pass out I could But now there is uh, two options are there. One is to work as a private dentist, and the second is to work on the national health under the government service. Most of the people, um, the pro problem with the private practice is that they are, you know, treating people who are paying a lot of money for their treatment. So they want people who got a lot of experience. So unless, of course, not in the nuller profile lingual. If you have a private job, you can do it. Now, there are simple things like soft skills. If you want to develop it, you can do it. If you want to do it, you can do it. If you want to do it, you can do it. If you want to do it, you can do it. If you want to do it, you can do it. The other option is most commonly, the other option is NHS. If you want to do it in NHS, you can do it in NHS. Uh, internship chain of the equivalent it or um, and then how uh, clinically attached it program on one year on other program dental foundation or you about in the equivalent with a chain of each other if you want to work on the performer number one number in the land of candidates to work here but you know I knew when it year one year validation of a single or a mentor that deal or a column work in the room for us to get into performer number our position it's called a DLV E at the 
end of it, I would say it's definitely worth it. Not let dentists get the salary. I know my friends who are, uh, mm. you know, general dentists who have, uh, you know, who have their own practices are doing really well. Right. I'll learn if you're working for somebody or, um, you know, if you're not a specialist, I think um, it would be really good for you to come here. You, yeah. whatever money and time and effort that you spend, mm. it'll all be well worth it and made up in a year's time. Thank you, thank you very much uh, for that, uh, Ishana. So another very uh, important question. Uh, I get, I already asked you this question. Still, there are students uh, who already completed BDS. They, they are like asking me, um, can you suggest a course? Um, as you already explained, it is depending on what you want to do. Yeah. I have seen that you have done a master's in UK yes. after your graduation. Yeah. So can you explain a little bit about that? For, for I mean, for some of the yeah, audience sure. may be interested to know what 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 is yeah. your master's degree in? Yeah, yeah, my my master's I've done in prosthodontics. Um, I've done like so in the UK only very few courses uh, are, have been. Uh, approved to get onto the specialist register in the UK. That means uh, you need to do a three-year full-time program and not necessarily all the universities approved. So uh, I know only of the three universities in London, King's, uh, Queen Mary's and Bath's and uh, Eastman that has got this approval. So I don't think uh, the other colleges, I'm not sure, but that is the issue. It's quite difficult to get onto a specialist register. Right. But who are specialists already in India or who've got particular uh, special skills, then they can uh, work on the GDC as a dentist with special interest. So if you are an endodontist from India, you can work as a dentist with special interest in, in root canals or endodontics. So I'm going to have options in the work candidate. You can do most things. So if you if you already got experience in implants, you can do implants. You don't need to have the speciality to work and do the speciality. We have titles in UCM, but you and not very personal. And again, obviously, you should even have uh, you know, sewing culture in the, it's growing like in America, uh, you know, you have to be quite careful. I think, you know, particularly earlier on your career, you, you know, you will get debarred and deregistered from GDC. Uh, so other careful light, they'll be happily uh, supporting that. Uh, if people are coming for visa purposes, there are a few courses, uh, which I can put a link in the description below, which helps you prepare for the uh, ORE and Angante uh, random yeah. other university right. courses are there. Yeah. Upper, if your purpose is to get a visa, come here, do the ORE, work here as a dentist, and not very passionate about one of the clinical uh, courses, then that may be uh, one of the courses that you should invest into because even if there were exposure, even if you have work here, even if the guidelines, all the and it will prepare you for the exam and you get uh, your two year post study work visa as well. That's really informative, uh, Isha. Thank you very much. Um, guys, I, I just have to wind up this video because uh, I got a very short time slot so i'll uh, share uh, more uh, information about how to become a dentist in uk uh, below this link i'll share um uh, riskdentist.com that is ishara's personal website yeah. and you'll get more information about uh, uh, how to become a dentist in uk and what are the options to come to uk etc um uh, really th thank you very much uh, ishara for your time yeah. have a great day uh, thank you Amir. Okay. it has been my pleasure best of luck everybody Thank you guys. Thank you. Um, th thanks for watching the video. If you need to uh, know more about uh, uh, coming to UK as a dentist, please message me. Uh, I'll share information what I got. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye.